What secrets did the rich like Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos have that made them rich? How about Oprah Winfrey, who grew up in a single parent household raised by her teenage mother? And look at her now. Her net worth is a staggering $2.6 billion. Just wow! If you're looking to join the ranks and begin earning your own millions, then look no further. Because in this video, I will tell you six things that these multi billionaires did that made them the wealthy and successful people they are today. Interested? You better be. Number one, eliminating distractions. Okay, so you're still stuck paying your credit card debt and balancing two jobs. Chances are you won't be going to any luxury vacations and riding your mega yacht in Maldives anytime soon. If these ideas seem nothing more than a dream, that's probably because you've been unwilling to let go of your current lifestyle. Well, tough news, you gotta change that. You see, accumulating wealth is all about sacrifices. And one of the number one things that hinder people in this day and age are the numerous distractions all around us. We're currently living in a hyper-consumer market, not only materially, but also in experiences. Imagine this, you're working from home when you suddenly hear the familiar ping of a new message from your phone. You try to resist it, but it's no use. You leave your work for a second to see what the notification is about. Next thing you know, you're scrolling to your Instagram feed, work forgotten. Well, let me tell you one thing, Oprah didn't get her $2.6 billion scrolling through her social media accounts all afternoon. I know it's hard to break this habit, especially when everything is so easily accessible with just a click and a swipe. But think about it, all these distractions not only waste your money, but also your time. And that's a big resource for anyone aiming to become wealthy. What do you mean? Going to a concert would not only cost you tickets, but will also cost you a day or two just to go. That's a lot of time you could have spent earning more. Now, I'm not saying you should totally cut up all entertainment in your life. Of course not. What I'm saying is find balance. You're just starting out. You need to be focused. Don't let distractions get in your way. Number two, sacrificing sleep. If you think you can become wealthy when you're sleeping eight hours every day, think again. Elma said he sleeps for only six hours a day and is already worth $229.1 billion. That's more money than any of us will ever have. But he's still working every day to improve and innovate new technologies to reach greater heights with his company. That should be your goal as well. Working hard at your career and honing your craft and skill often require many sleepless nights. It can be difficult to maintain a healthy work-life balance when you're pursuing your goals. But that's the price you have to pay if you want to break free from the constraints of your capabilities. Maybe you think one or two hours a day doesn't change much, but those hours add up. If you're wondering what you could do with all these hours, the answer is simple. Work on improving yourself. The hallmark of any wealthy and successful individual is a constant thirst for what's next. They don't stay rooted to one spot. They don't let themselves stagnate. They are always looking at how to become better, how to do better. Let's take an artist for example. They're really great at their craft and they can sell their pieces at a couple thousands. What more can they do to improve themselves? Learn about the business. Marketing, brand identity, these are things that some would deem unnecessary for a creative, but a smart entrepreneur would recognize the opportunity and grab it. Number three, go out of your comfort zone. One of the things that hinders people on their path to success is their fear to venture into the unknown. And I know it's crazy. You're afraid because you know how easy it is to lose everything and you know how hard it is to go back to square one. So you're content just being able to pay your bills and eating three meals a day. Nothing wrong with that. But you see, if you want to achieve more and become wealthy, 
you have to think like the wealthy. And stepping out of your comfort zone is one of the top things you need to learn to achieve that. What do I mean? Don't be scared of changes. Learn to take risks. Being complacent will net you nothing. If this means relocating to a different city or state or even country, then take it. You should be ready to take on every opportunity when given to you. They say you miss all the shots you don't take. So don't say no to opportunities that could advance you in your career. This also means being wise, especially in business. You should know when to invest and when to take a step back. Business is all about risks. Be prepared to lose some and win some, but you'll never win if you never play. Number four, don't live a flashy lifestyle. I know what you're thinking. Many rich people love bragging about their wealth. And isn't that one of the things that motivates many? Seeing the red sports cars and luxury parties and beach houses in Monaco, these are the things that you will see on your social medias and make you think to yourself, I want to be just like them. So what do you mean by don't live a flashy lifestyle? If they can do it, why can't you? Well, it's because they can afford it. They're already at a level where they can throw away $100,000 and they won't even blink. But for those who are yet to reach a level of wealth, refrain from living the lifestyle they are living. This is one of the main problems common to people who aspire to become rich. They think owning a designer handbag or driving a sports car would make them rich. No, it just made you someone who lost a significant amount of money for something frivolous when you could be investing that money to grow your wealth. Spend money wisely. If you don't know how to manage $1,000, how do you expect yourself to manage a million dollars? Hands off the flashy bragging rights and focus on earning actual money to reach a point where you won't blink at losing a couple thousand dollars. Number five, planning your family. This sounds a bit too personal, but hear me out. If you want to achieve big things, you need to know how to sacrifice big things. A lot of wise men and women start their families in their late 30s and even early 40s. Why? Because they spend their 20s and early 30s building their careers and accumulating wealth. They know that starting a family is a big commitment, and a big commitment such as that would require a lot of time and effort. For someone who has aspirations and lofty goals, sparing time and effort is a luxury you cannot afford. You see, some people get married to their work, and while you set a joke, this is true to some extent because dedication to your career or business is a full-time commitment. You need to know how to prioritize the things that matter at your stage in life. Number six, don't be afraid of what other people might think. You see, real life isn't like high school. It's not a popularity contest. If some people don't like you, you shouldn't worry too much about it. Wait, I'm not saying to be rude and insufferable to your work colleagues. Of course, you have to be respectful and get along with everyone else on a professional level. But what I mean is that there's no need for you to go out of your way to appease and accommodate them at the expense of your growth. I'll give you an example. Let's say an opportunity to transfer to a different location opens up. Transferring would mean an opportunity to lead the new branch, a promotion, a raise, and more opportunities down the line. Problem is, you're not the only one qualified for the position. You're not even the most qualified for the position. Well, still go for it. Do everything you can to win that transfer. Show your worth. If you start thinking about how your colleagues will think and feel, you're never going to advance. Always take advantage of every opportunity and seize every chance to climb higher. 
The people you pass along the way may resent you, but would you really still care years down the line when you're sunbathing in the Bahamas on your mega yacht? Chances are, they'll probably be the ones asking you for a ride. So those are the six things you need to do to become rich. Which ones do you plan to start doing immediately? Let me know your choice in the comment section down below. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you'll know when I release new videos like this. This is Mr. Business, see you in my next video.